Everything, all matter, is made of atoms. The word itself comes from the Greek word atomos, which means uncuttable, because it was originally believed that there was nothing smaller than atoms, that they couldn't be broken down any further. It's now known, however, that atoms are made of two parts, the positively charged nucleus in the centre and the negatively charged electrons which surround it in a much smaller. In fact, the nucleus accounts for 99.9% .9 of the atom's mass, and if the nucleus of a hydrogen atom was the size of an apple, then the first electron would be over 5 kilometres away. This model of the atom, known as the Rutherford model, was created after a famous physicist called Ernest Rutherford did an experiment. In the experiment, he fired alpha particles, which are fast-moving helium nuclei, at some cold foil. Most passed straight through because atoms are roughly 99.99999999999999% empty space, but about 1 in 10,000 of the alpha particles rebounded, sometimes straight back where they've been fired from. Rutherford himself said it was as if you fired a 15-inch shell at a piece of tissue paper and it came back and hit you. Anyway, from these findings it was proven that atoms contained a positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons. But it doesn't stop there. The nucleus is made of two different, smaller particles. The proton, which is positively charged, is in pro, and the neutron, which doesn't have any charge, is in neutral. The two are roughly the same size. But it doesn't even stop there. Physicists discovered that the neutrons and protons are made of smaller particles called quarks. <laughs> no, not quarks, you silly goose. Quarks. Scientists at CERN discovered this when they fired electrons at protons and neutrons to find out what they were made of. They found out that electrons bounced off the protons and neutrons from three different points, as though they were made of three smaller parts, and these smaller parts are the quarks. There are six types known as flavours of quark. Up, down, top, bottom, strange and charm, but protons and neutrons are only made of up and down quarks. As this scientist lady will now show you, up quarks have a positive charge of plus two thirds, and down quarks have a negative charge of minus one third. So protons are made of two up quarks and one down quark, because two thirds add two thirds minus one third equals plus one. And a neutron is made of two down quarks and one up quark, because minus one third minus one third plus two thirds equals zero. Scientists believe you can't break quarks down any further, which means they are elementary or fundamental particles. It's like here, shown with Lego. The red block represents a proton and the blue block represents a neutron. Each is made of three different parts. You can separate them into these three parts, but that's it. You can't break it down any further. Electrons, which orbit the nucleus, aren't made of quarks. They are fundamental themselves and can't be broken down into any smaller pieces. So, as a final recap, everything is made of atoms. Atoms are made of a positively charged nucleus orbited by negatively charged electrons, and the electrons are fundamental. The nucleus is made of protons and neutrons, which are each made of three quarks, and quarks are fundamental. So that is what is inside an atom.